everybody. Uh, my name is David Manister and I am the CEO of ERE and today I'm really excited because I just learned that we are full um, at the Social Recruiting Summit. We just uh, filled up the room that Google provided for us um, and it sounds like it's going to be a great show. I'm totally looking forward to it. I am joined here today by Ted Elliott who is the CEO of Job Science and Job Science is the primary sponsor for the summit and we wouldn't have be able to do this uh, if it wasn't for their support. So, uh, first of all, Ted, thank you very much. And uh, second, why don't you tell us all why you chose to support the Social Recruiting Summit? Job Science believes that social recruiting is really the future of recruitment. Um, right now, in a down economy, people are still hiring. Um, but what they're doing is they're doing strategic sourcing, and what they want to do is make sure that they find the right people. The best way to find the right people is to network within your own social graph, to find people who have the right skills, the right background, the right values for your organization. So we felt at Job Science that being involved with the Social Recruiting Summit was an integral part of what we do as a business. Thanks, Ted, and we appreciate the support. Can you tell us a little bit about what Job Science does? Job Science is in the human capital business. Uh, and we focus on uh, figuring out ways to make people successful in the area of recruitment, uh, in the area of uh, working with your employees in terms of the human capital management experience, and making it very easy for employers to find the candidates, onboard the candidates, and manage the candidates all from the web. Um, our partner is Salesforce. We build all of our applications today on the force.com platform. Uh, and the reason we do that is that it's such an easy platform to allow us to tie directly to social networking and new technology. You guys are about to launch iFind, which I think is the first application ever to combine CRM sourcing and is usable on the iPhone. Can you tell us about that? So our most recent application uh, that we built was for the iPhone. Uh, and specifically what it allows you to do is if you're in a meeting and you say, hey, I need to find someone who's got job experience, who is in Slidell, Louisiana, who can be part of my team in the next three hours, you can literally go right to your iPhone and call up all that information. Uh, it's tied directly on the back end to the Salesforce CRM, so you can manage all your contact data, all your documentation about that candidate, everything that you need to do to manage your relationship with that candidate, your talent relationship, you can manage that all from within the Force.com CRM platform. And what's unique about it compared to any other product on the market is really the ability to rapidly tie it to marketing, document collection, social networking, and managing a relationship with an individual. Thanks, Ted. I was just checking out the video for iFind on the socialrecruitingsummit.com website and it looks pretty impressive. How does putting an application like this on a device like the iPhone change the candidate experience? Well, usually uh, what people get worried about in the recruiting process is losing someone. Uh, losing a connection, losing a networking. Recruiters are always going out to network with candidates uh, and the reason they're doing that is they know that they've got to go out in the field to find the right people. Uh, using the iPhone and the ability to add a candidate almost instantaneously to your pool to manage their information, to identify the right people wherever you are, really gives the recruiter what they need, which is information. They're an information broker, and as long as they have that information at their fingertips and they don't have to go searching for it, they've got the advantage. And, and, th and that's going to improve the experience of not only the candidate, but also the employer. Can you tell me about the history of job science and uh, what, what made you think to put this application together on the iPhone? Job Science was started uh, in uh, 1999, originally focused in the healthcare industry. Uh, what we learned from working with America's largest employers uh, is how to deal with high volumes of applications. Today we process over 60,000 applications a month for job seekers. Um, we're helping a number of people find work. That's the socially redeeming part of what we do in our own network. Uh, and what we wanted to do was to leverage our experience uh, with large institutional employers to bring uh, uh, basically social recruiting to bear for those recruiters and in doing so we realized that this could work for everybody. Our motivation for uh, building the iFind application uh, was really to make it so that someone could walk into a meeting and find a team of people to work on their project before they walked out of the meeting. And we thought it would be really cool to not have to lug a laptop computer that everyone would kind of look at you funny with, but to be able to just do it from the palm of your hand uh, and to be able to call those people, identify them, put them in a list instantaneously is what we've seen uh, is that, uh, especially in a market like right now, you need to be able to find the right people at the right time. And time is what's of essence because budgets are changing, people are changing, projects are changing. So the ability to connect the right person to the right job instantly is what, what the iPhone really gives you the ability to do. 
All right, this is the Social Recruiting Summit, so I have to ask social recruiting questions. Uh, so the big question is, what do you see coming down the road? Um, is this going to change things for recruiters and how? So social networking uh, and social recruitment are already changing how people are doing things. The ability to identify who knows who, when they worked with each other, uh, what relationship they have with each other, gives the employer a vast amount of information that was never at their fingertips before. That's a game changer. The question is how do you properly use that information? How do you use that information in a legal way, in a way that supports your process, that's beneficial? And really that's kind of an unknown right now. But the power to be able to say, uh, my competitor across the street is company X and I want to know everyone who works there and get that list never existed before. Now recruiters can either look at that as a bad thing or a good thing. Figuring out ways to take advantage and prosper from that information is going to change the game. And job sciences technology makes it easy for folks who don't know how to do it, to do it. Thanks everybody for uh, watching Ted and I as uh, we talk a little bit about job science and the iFind application. Um, Ted, again, thank you very much for your support for the summit. It wouldn't be possible without you. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you and everybody else at the summit. Thank you.